His ability to communicate with people of all nations is legendary. Would you please welcome Britain's ambassador to the new single European language, Professor Stanley Unwin! <laughs> Early forms of uh, self-expression manifest themselves in painting. And, of course, you had the woad where the early ancient Britters, which philolop the stuff all over their form, both in glistening rebbers of ochre, deep bloom of the, uh, the stone, which they have clay cave in the southern parts of, uh, of the uh, Tinsel Manor and all round the... Uh, it's a silly eye load. They gathered this and, and just scabbered it on. And from a distance you could see the scintillakers of the people who expressed themselves in this way. Uh, on the continent, you had the Altamira mur murals, and 50,000 feet fathom they laboured, and expressed in a deep, fine bull drawing on the warm. And later, of course, romantic art, after this was discovered, uh, they had the uh, early Italian schooners, I think, not to confuse with Confucius of the Chinese influx, which is very far removed, and, of course, Confucius sailed very close to the wind on these forms of expression. The Italians, I think, were at their best at the time with the romantic scoom of the Botticelli and the Venus de Milo, because, of course, and uh, not uh, nothing uh, any to misconstrue of ugly in these deep classical 4D forms. Leonardo da Vinci's and the pre-Raphaelites to Dale which gave of the Burne Jones, Millade, Rossetti uh, and there they did for the mixing of the, the pellets they had the embryo clubs of an egg which is holding the colours together Wody again and the ochre dust which they gathered to gave uh, in Sicilian crepers mixed this half for philolping on the, on the uh, uh, sashel itself but the canvas was uh, used there with the camel hoed or hair brushy which they dipped it in and also flourished in the arm pegger and wore little flat habits like a beret and uh, the short whiskers uh, of course but um, uh, what about the trend? You see, when the modern school did their interpretal with a pastiche like a Van Goghy, he would do a fine sunshine drenchy. Now, he would, to express it in, uh, in a sunflower, would do a group of the brown, scrittle high the side for the petalos in a deep yellow expressy, and in the back grove, possibly a cypress tree uh, and a small individual of little flower dangle it and dangle it in the garbage. But, of course, you see, today we have, uh, we just get a pot of paint logos and grurp it on the floor, riding it a bicycle through it, and so the interpret for the artist of this. Oh, no, 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 no. Far better to get a pot of paintings, several old bottles of ink it, scrurp it up low down to the wall, and stand upside down and play a skating march. Because in this, it would express the idea in the viewer because everything is in the heart or the eye of the beholder. And I think that's what Shakespeare said when he, he said, um, ye who wield the brush, never get your nose and tush. Because in this is the form of expression which I think to Dale and trends for the future itself. Oh yes, it's got to be expressed in this way. You can use a pastiche knife and put a plasty chewing gum on there. There stands out the idol of a little Ellie Gobber. And I think after all, if it's come to stay, it's here with us.